Before we start today's video, we got some goodies from Simply Carbon Fiber. Oh. Huge shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Let's see what we got. Let's start off with this one. Ooh, that is nice. A carbon fiber iPhone 13 Pro phone case. This is some real carbon fiber. Love this. You guys get the idea. This is the size. It looks really good. Quality is nice. Real carbon fiber and gloss finish. Can't put it on my phone because if you guys don't know, my phone is my vlog camera, so I'm using it right now. So <laughs> sorry about that. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, you guys see this? I've never seen anything like this before. A carbon fiber card holder and money clip? Yo, there's no way this is real carbon fiber. There's no way. Oh my God, this, this is real carbon fiber. What the actual frick, this is awesome. Let's take stuff out of my old raggedy ass wallet and try to put it in here. Oh damn, this is pretty secure. That's pretty nice. It's nice and flush. If only I had some cash to put in this. I'm pretty freaking poor, so what can I put in here instead of cash? All right guys, I'm poor, so I don't have cash. I'm gonna put a Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year envelope in here and just fold it up, pretend it's like cash, you know? Ooh, this clip is nice. It's like very reinforced. Serves its purpose. Super lightweight. Carbon fiber. Not gonna chip, not gonna break. Clear coat looks pretty good. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be thinking, why do I want a carbon fiber wallet? Won't it break because it's real carbon fiber? Let's see how strong this is. Most guys put their wallets in their butt pockets. Let's see if it works. I don't really feel it. I also feel all my weight on it and uh, no cracks. Way stronger than my carbon fiber splitter. That's for sure. Huge thank you once again to Simply Carbon Fiber. If you guys want anything, link is in the description below, as well as a promo code. And you can check out all of their other goodies. They make sunglasses, watches, rings, necklaces, a bunch of different carbon fiber accessories. Huge shout out to you guys. And let's get back to today's video. Carbon fiber essay. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you once again for tuning in. Today's video, I'm gonna start it off with some air suspension tips and tricks. Yesterday, my controller turned off completely and the compressors have been having a hard time to start. I just recently found out from my buddy Dom. Shout out to you, bro. Here's a surefire way to check which compressor of yours is blown. What you're gonna wanna do is go to the menu, go down to setup, and it's gonna show you your compressor. If you wanna find out which compressor is blown, if you feel like one of them is out, here's how you can find out which one, unless it's both, but most likely it's just one. Here's the reason why I know, I swapped out the secondary compressor about a year ago, so it should be fine, it's still pretty new. The main one, I didn't, so that one is probably about two and a half years old because it came with the used kit. So what you're gonna wanna do is go down to dual slash single. I had it set to single because I was checking it last night, but I'm gonna set it to dual. If you go to the on slash off, you can turn your compressor on or off, right? If you have it set to dual and you turn on the compressor, if the controller turns off and resets itself, then that means that compressor is blown. If you go to single and you set it to that, and then you turn on the compressor, and then the remote also turns off, then it could be both. But if it's just that one, the single, that'll be your main compressor. So it's kind of cool that you can check which compressor is being blown without having to physically take out the compressor and open it. So that's what we're gonna be swapping out today. If you don't have a brand new compressor at home as a backup just in case, you are sleeping. Always buy parts just in case. That should fix the Lexus and then tomorrow I can drop her off for paint. Ooh, she still looks kind of clean even though she got really dirty. Do you guys ever just find a mirror and just stare at your car. I know I do that, and I know a lot of you car guys do that too. Every time I drive by any type of structure that has a reflective finish, I'm always looking at my car like, yeah, that's fine. Damn, Team Mitsu. That's good. What's up? Can I show them what, what's so special about this car? Guys, look at this. It's stick shift. Oh, shit. I forgot that you knew how to drive stick. <laughs> We swapped over this upgraded check valve to the new compressor. Mm -hmm. There's a bitch to take it off. Yeah, and then the wiring's different. So this one came with like the ground loop, and then the system has like a connector. Put them together and then have it so it connects perfectly. 
Electrician Andy. Oh shit, you brought me a beer? Thanks, bro. I got you, bro. Cheers. Don't do it. Wait, am I allowed to drink this? That looks nasty. It's just disgusting. Would you put a cigarette out in here? When was this from? <sighs> Last time I worked on my car, which was probably like in January. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no lie. I'll give you five bucks to take a shot. No, <laughs> never. Oh, some metal shavings from when you last worked on your car? Exactly. Out with the old, in with the new. Thank you, Andy. No problem. Oh my god, you guys are twins. Say hi. Yay, we did it. I just want all you guys to know that that is the successor of the RX-7. Just for him. Not for you. Thank you again, bro. No problem, dude. Got you. We have to show them your car when you get it back on the lift because you finished it. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, you got to check the underbody out because you brought it by one time when we were doing it. You were helping me. So. But now it's like done and it looks mint. Like Once it's rolling, it's going to be nice for sure. Hell yeah. People are going to appreciate it. Well, we're going to start a GoFundMe for Andres' uh, standalone. <laughs> that would help. <laughs> Alright guys, so my car is once again at the shop. Gonna get started on it tomorrow. And yeah, this is all gonna get fixed. Fenders are gonna get installed. Hopefully he remembers how I wanted it painted. He is the one who did this cut off for me. It's gonna come out sick. So I'm here next day, wanted to check up on the car and fitment isn't the best and it's okay because it's an aftermarket part. It's not OEM. It's never gonna fit like OEM. So we're gonna try to make it work. But this is what we are working with. It's pretty cool. On camera, it doesn't look too bad, right? But this kind of sticks out a bit, but we, we'll probably push it in more. But then there's a few cons. If we push this in more, then like this sticks out like that way or like, I don't know, let me just, close the hood to show you guys real quick how the fitment is this isn't closed all the way but look at this fat gap it's pretty big there's a huge gap there and it's like we can push this in more but then this sticks out more we can't really do anything about this i told him maybe since i'm gonna paint the whole thing he can like fill this in a little bit more but i also kind of don't care there's supposed to be a rubber like gasket here and i think that'll help make it not look as bad and it's also going to get paint matched so it's all black i wanted to just show you guys real quick this is how it's looking keep in mind aftermarket parts will never fit amazing especially when it comes to carbon fiber and fiberglass it's just it's super hit or miss i'm pretty sure when they're laying it down and making the mold when it dries and everything it probably moves i don't know like you, you never know not every mold is going to be perfect and let me show you guys another thing you close the hood all the way down pretty gnarly gap on top of that the fender is raised up a little more obviously we need to make sure door clears and everything which it does but i don't know i'm sure we can make things better i think we're off to a good start for the most part this is to be expected and let's just pray that the driver's side fender fits way better and then i'll just start taking pictures and videos from that side only like i said Aftermarket will never fit the same. If you guys want OEM fitment, then stay OEM. You know what I mean? It's part of the game. Not everything's gonna be perfect. And yes, you can go to a reputable body shop. Like we're talking clout body shop, known for like the best work ever, but you're gonna pay an arm and a leg. Like all of that work that I'm getting done, I'm getting it for like super cheap and his quality is good. My mechanic normally doesn't work on aftermarket parts and stuff, but he makes an exception for me. And he used to mod cars and stuff back in his day. He still mods his jet skis and all that stuff. The bumper to fender fitment is like my biggest pet peeve on this car. Once you go bags or get lowered or like break a tab or this or that, like it just completely messes it up, unaligns it. It's never the same. And I just want to make sure we can get it close to looking good. Yes, I know my car is black and it'll hide a lot of that stuff, but I want to be able to come up close to my car and be like, wow, that fitment is tighter than my butthole. I just want to drive my car. All right, guys, after a whole month and a half, I finally got my car back. 
Oh, it feels like forever. You already know, as a car guy, when you don't have your car for a long, long time, you feel like you're missing a piece of yourself. Finally have her back, so I'm starting to feel like myself again. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I know you've all been waiting for the last like month and a half. I've teased it so much. And we had a bunch of issues that I am going to address after I reveal it to you guys. Are you ready? Check this out. What do you guys think? I am absolutely in love. I think it was worth the wait, kinda. <laughs> Sheesh. Fitment is pretty spot on considering it is aftermarket so it's not gonna fit. The door clears. Look at that. Stunning. Fitment on the pillar is pretty good. My Saibon hood is aftermarket and I've always had that issue of it being a little raised right here. So it's not the fender's fault because the fender fits just like my OEM fender did. So if you guys can see, I left this part carbon fiber. Thinking about putting an F Sport badge there, we'll see. But I love how this follows the body line of the car. Now I'll take it to the other side. Super good, headlight fitment is amazing. I love how this fender piece goes into my black pearl side skirt. Cause you see how it kind of goes like that and then this goes down and in. That looks amazing, holy shit. I didn't get to give her a wash guys, so she's still pretty dirty. I just was way too excited to show you. This fender itself is still stock fitment. By that I mean, it's not like a wide body fender or anything, but it does stick out a little bit more, which makes it more aggressive and I like that. But yeah, one of the main reasons why it took so long was because we we're trying to figure this out. Everything is fixed, no more cracks, fiberglass was repaired and reinforced. There is a tab back here that you have to trim. So it's about right here. There's about one, two, three, four holes. My OEM ones, we deleted one of the holes completely. So that means we shaved all of that into here. What my mechanic did was he accidentally used that hole, which we were supposed to delete. And there was a bolt there for the custom bracket. So we can get this really nice flush fitment super tight but since he used that we couldn't shave it so what we had to do today I took the day off work because i was so stressed out i was like let's just knock this out me and you i'll guide you you do it delete that bolt the custom bracket still works thank god and we just had to shave as far as we could like we're talking shave really far like behind my bumper it looks ugly the fender liner is burnt you're gonna see metal and like the carbon fiber fender just being shaved all the way it's crazy that's what we had to do to get the wheel to tuck. It was hitting the tire. This is still pretty tight, which I love. But before we shaved that, it was pushing the bumper out so much and it was leaving a fat gap. And obviously over time, if you keep airing out onto it, it's just gonna keep pushing in and pushing in and eventually it'll damage the fender and the whole bumper. So right now it's as perfect as it can get. Guys, comment down below if you love these fenders as much as I do. I am gonna put an F Sport badge just have to find some new ones which i did find hopefully they come in the mail and they look really good my oem ones are on my oem fenders and i'm gonna sell those fenders so if any of you guys are interested they are right over here in this big box i could ship them but shipping is gonna be expensive so whoever wants them local pickup hope you guys like the fenders i know it's been so long since i've talked to you guys and i miss all of you okay i could have just filmed without my car but I just wanted my car back because we were all waiting for this for so long. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm one of those dudes that doesn't change their cabin air filter for like two years, which is awful, but I finally got k and This should last me about the whole lifetime of the car. Oh, my dad came out. You wanna see it? What do you think? Wow, it looked different. My dad actually said it looked different. I don't know if he's messing with me or if he actually thinks it does look different because it kind of does. When the camera was off, he did tell me he had one issue. He was like, if you got these fenders and you wanted it to be a little bit more noticeable, why doesn't the carbon fiber portion of it stick in more? And I was like, dad, this is how they designed it. It's kind of like similar to the OEM RCF fenders. But if you want it to stick out more, which I don't, 
because you know I don't want it to be like oh my god wow it's in your face I wanted it to be a little more subtle and then you just have that accent and it looks nice but dad if you want it to stick out more that means I'm gonna have to go wide body I don't know how he'd feel about that man your car's too wide it looks like a truck I just I already know my dad dude he's he's just all jokes <laughs> but we got the father approval and now he's gonna go play tennis good for you pops the coolest thing about K&N if you guys don't know about these filters because I don't really know too much about them is I guess they're reusable all you have to do is clean them every so often so I did the math you're supposed to change out your air filter every month or so right let's say it's about 12 13 bucks a pop multiply that by 12 months you're spending over a hundred dollars a month a year I meant to say a year I haven't vlogged in like a month and a half guys relax it's not that serious which you don't need to do but it's recommended right now with this all i have to do is clean it like you know a cold air intake filter sort of i just don't think i have to re-oil it but yeah let's slap this in i've never done this before I'm pretty sure it's simple i think it's in your glove box i have a huge mess in here so we'll give me a sec so now that i have all this cleared up i think it's just these clips oh sweet oh my god and that's how you know i haven't changed it in two whole years that is disgusting. And uh, this is the new one, so let's see how we put this in. Got it in, looks good as new. Shove this back in there, make sure it clips. I think that's it, put the cover back on. Come on, cover, how do they make working on cars so annoying and it's so simple. All right guys, I know a lot of you are just like me if not, then you have your life together. But if you don't, change your cabin air filter because this is disgusting. Wow. I can't believe I haven't changed this in like two years. Now I'm sure the air quality is going to be better. I did notice it wasn't blowing as cold, so hopefully that helps and it lasts forever. Before I end today's video, I wanted to install something that's super, super cool. My buddy Ray sent these over to me probably like a month and a half ago, but I didn't have my car, so I couldn't install it and show it to you guys. Sorry about that, Ray. If you don't know what this is, they are like puddle lamp projectors. Boom. F Sport. Dude, this is so clear. I know you guys have seen the boo fast China ones that are like not too clear. Like you can kind of see this during the day. That is amazing. So we got my dad the F Sport ones just to showcase them. I don't know what it is, but everyone's been taking huge liking to my dad's car and sending him stuff. So thanks everyone. <laughs> now we're gonna install mine. Mine are a little bit different. I wanted to go with a more OEM style look. If you guys don't know how to install this, it's super easy. It is this light right here. It's super easy to take out. Get like a flathead or a plastic trim remover tool. You pull this out, unplug it and plug these in. Coolest thing about Ray's projectors is he also put stickers. So that's the right side and that one's the left side. Awesome. Let's go ahead and install these. And all you do is unclip that super easy and done you guys ready to see bam i just wanted it to say lexus without the l right here this is exactly how it comes oem if you were to buy from the dealership but it's super expensive as opposed to ray's which is the more affordable one and it's way more clear than the oem he actually compared his oem rcf projector light from lexus to the one that he got made himself and his is way brighter more vivid and just super super clear thank you again ray i love them if you guys are interested in these lights i will put a link to his website in the description below or you can hit him up on instagram oh. it's ray's rcf and if for whatever reason you guys wanted it to be i guess elongated or project a different way it's adjustable check this out yeah, it makes it super long, but if you're into this kind of, you know, stretched out effect, that's cool too, that you can literally adjust it to where you want. That is fucking sick. All you do is just push this. I'm gonna keep it like that. It looks very OEM. Matches that. Looks amazing. Thanks again, Ray, for hooking me and my dad up. Thank you guys once again for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a huge gap of me not making videos and I hope it was worth the wait for you guys. Yeah, now I can finally get around to doing all the things that I want to do. The first thing I'm going to do is enjoy my car, drive it around. <sighs> Feels good to be back. I don't think my car has to go to the shop anytime soon. Be on the lookout for those videos. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe if you like the videos. If you didn't like the videos, you don't have to subscribe. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to force anyone to do anything that they don't want to do. 
and I will catch you guys in the next video. Huge shout out to Sanzo Works oh. once again for sending me those fenders. Love you guys. If you want anything from them, link to the fenders will be in the description below. And there's also a bunch of other carbon fiber goodies on their website for you to purchase. Use my promo code Jason Nguyen YT. You'll get a discount on the whole website. That's pretty much going to be it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget, it's always better to look good than to feel good. Oh, later.